today I'm going to show you how to make some skittles using some empty plastic bottles and we're going to turn them into Egyptian figures. The first stage is just to cut off the label of your bottle and then choose some paint and paint the outside of your bottle. I've painted my first bottle white and I'm going to turn it into a mummy. I'm going to create other characters like an Egyptian Shabti and you can have a look online to get inspiration for each of your six bottles. While your first bottle dries, you can get your next one. I've got six in total, so I'm going to be painting six bottles and creating six different characters. Once you have applied all of your paint colours to your bottles, just let them dry. I've chosen a colour palette that represents a lot of the colours that you would see in ancient Egypt with blues, greens and yellows, but you can choose whatever colours you want. For my details on the characters, I'm going to use some paint pens, but I'm also going to use the acrylic paints as well. As you can see, I've popped a little hole in the centre for where the mummy's eyes are going to poke through and I've also scored lines into the bottle with my pen to make the mummy wrappings. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of white paint and make the eyes. There is the finished mummy. You can now start working on all of your other bottles and your other characters for your Skittle set. I've completed the outline of my Shabti face using pens, so I'm now just going to colour in the hair using paint. So now I can leave my Shabti along with my mummy to dry and start on the next bottle. So once again, I've done the outline of my cat with black pen and I'm just going to fill the middle in with black paint. So I'm just going to let the cat dry before I can add detail onto the body. For the green bottle, I've added two scarab beetles. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on to the next bottle. And on my blue bottle I have painted a triangle for a pyramid. I'm going to let that dry before adding more detail. I'm going to use my other yellow bottle and add some hieroglyphs using paint and paint pens. You can find lots of examples of Egyptian hieroglyphs on the internet. Just find simple letters and shapes and maybe spell out your name on the bottle. Now that my bottle is dry, I've brought it inside to get some inspiration from the internet and I'm going to start painting on the detail for the cat using a gold marker pen. The cat will have a gold earring and an Egyptian collar. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Using a cocktail stick, I'm just going to scrape away at the black paint to reveal the yellow bottle underneath. And I'm going to add in the legs and some features on the face and the ears. So there is my finished cat. He's got his paws and his feet, and I've added the details such as the jewelry, the eyes and the ears. For the Shabti, I can also add a little bit of detail to the end of the hair using the gold brush again. I'm also going to add my name in hieroglyphs down the front so that the Shabti knows who its owner is. bottles dry we can make a ball. I've got some tin foil and I've scrunched it up into a ball so it's nice and tight. 
once you have smoothed out your tin foil ball, you can either use it as it is, or you can use oven baked clay to decorate your tin foil, and you can put Egyptian designs on the front. I'm going to base mine on one of the Garstang Museum beads with the Wadjet eye. Using some oven baked clay, roll it out and cover your tin foil ball. Next, you can decorate your ball by putting on whatever shape you want on the front. So I'm going to pop on an eye using a slightly different colour of blue clay. Once you are happy with your eye, just press the modelling clay firmly into position and then look at the back of your packet and it will tell you how long to bake your clay in the oven. This will then go nice and solid and then you can use it as a ball. Once you're happy with your decorated bottles, you can set them up in a triangular pattern like you would see at a bowling alley and you are now ready to bowl.